Okay, hello. There is a lot I really love about Schoology. So here I am trying to maintain positive mindset and share some of this with you because maybe you don't know. Remember, I have lots of helpful videos and I'm super organized, so you'll find lots of playlists. Like and subscribe to always know when there's new content. But here we go. Here is my first list of top 10. So this is just going to be part one. There will be more. And like my most useful teacher tips. It was too hard to pick, so I couldn't do just 10. So here's the first 10, okay? The first tool I wanna go over is bulk edit. Bulk edit, possibly one of the best features in Schoology. You can edit almost any detail about any assessment or any assignment. So I'm gonna show you quickly how that works, okay? So here I am in the grade book. This is in my practice class, so this is just me. And I am going to click right here on the three dots and click on bulk edit. Okay, what that does is pulls up all of my assignments. If I had more than one, I might have to go to a next page. Here is the publish, unpublish, literally check mark, publish it, uncheck it, unpublish it. Don't have to open the assignment. Change the category, put it in the wrong category, easy to fix. Forgot to change the title, easy. Go from a numeric to a rubric. Totally change how you're grading something. Change the factor. Change the point value. Add a due date. Change the due date. And change the grading period. I can't do this here because this is my practice course. But literally so many things about the assignments you can change just straight from bulk edit. Easiest way to, um, for me, if I'm going to be publishing quite a few things at once, at once, this is the easiest way to do it. Okay, bulk edit love it. That's tip number one, okay? And you're going to see a link to that video giving you a little bit more information. Next, view course as a student. So again, watch for the links to another video giving you more details. So viewing the course as a student, okay? Again, here's my course. You can see on this menu how many things I have listed. I can go to view course as, choose the student. I'm the only student in this class. And I can view as that student. I could see when they pull up their grades, what does it look like for them? When they're looking at updates, what does it look like for them? Okay. And when they're looking at materials, it is not 100% accurate because I'll give you one example. If I pull up this assignment, okay, it will show there's something submitted, but notice there's no submit button. And the reason for that really is teachers cannot submit work for students. So that submit button will never show up from a teacher account, okay? Super awesome. All right, next tip, the recycle bin. Potentially one of the best kept secrets. It's literally tucked away in course options. Let me show you this one, okay? So I need to go back. I was just viewing this as um, a student, so I need to actually go back to the course, okay? I don't want to be viewing this as a student anymore. All right, here we go. So now under course options. I have a recycle bin. I can literally restore anything I've ever deleted from this course. Okay. Um, if I restore it, when I click this wheel and I click to restore, it's going to ask me where I want to put it. Do I want to put it in a specific folder? And then I just click restore. When you do want to know the best part, it brings back the grades. How awesome is that? Okay, so if you accidentally delete an assignment, graded or not, brings it right back. Okay. Next, the green plus sign. You can easily put folders and materials exactly where you want. What do I mean by that? So say I want something between this folder and this link. I just hover in the space in between them and I see all of a sudden a dotted line and a green plus sign. Um, I can click anywhere on that line and it's going to allow me to add um, anything. So say I add a folder and we'll just call this green just so you can see it show up. It literally pops in that exact space between them. Okay. You can do the same thing within a folder. That green line still appears. Okay. So you can order things. Only downside I see of this is if you copy it to a course. You have to move it yourself, okay? But the green plus sign, great feature. Let's look what's next. Toggle out. 
Okay, this is the only way I literally look at the grade book. So it's when you're in the grade book, okay, right here, when it says toggle full screen. Okay, when you have a lot of assignments and a lot of students, the scrolling becomes very clunky and hard to manage. So toggle it full screen, you can scroll up and scroll down with way less issues. Okay, I highly recommend using the um, toggle out. You can toggle it back in and uh, view the gradebook that way. But toggle out, I think it's brilliant for navigating the gradebook. Now how to quick open folders. Who wants to save themselves some clicking? Okay, sometimes people call Schoology clickology, and to some extent I absolutely agree. So how do I open a folder quickly to see what's inside? So here, this icon right here, click this, it's gonna open the folder. I can see what's in there, click on it. Okay, this I know there's nothing in there, I just added it. Same thing here, can open the folder, can open the folder. If it's a folder within a folder, you can open it. So watch, I'll move this folder so it's in here. When I open this, I have this one, I can open and close. So it doesn't matter if it's a folder within a folder, okay, or tucked into five different folders. Easiest way to open them, okay? All right, let's get on to our next tip. Disabling comments on assignments. I swear, this is like the black hole of comments. So I get enough notifications anyway. I don't even know where to find these notifications sometimes. So let's talk about disabling comments. So here is an assignment that's been created. You see how it says there are no comments. Students could write whatever, maybe ask you a question. Who knows? It's like in, in some weird limbo. So what I suggest anytime that you are creating an assignment, it's a simple click at the bottom when you're creating it. Right here, click this so it says comments are disabled. So that's kind of grayed out. If they're enabled, it's kind of bluish, meaning it's enabled. I always simply disable the comments. And then you just click Save Changes. That's it, is an easy fix, okay? But again, it's the black hole of comments. All right, hiding averages in grades. We sync to Infinite Campus. Lots of other people to sync to other programs like PowerSchool, for example. If you have, you will notice that your average in Schoology rarely matches the average in the other program. So to just eliminate that inconsistency, I hide the averages in grades. How do you do that? Go into grade setup, scroll down right here. You are going to hide overall grade in student report. All it does is now their average is hidden. You can hide the, um, you can have the total points column show up, but really what I'm talking about right now is hide the overall grade. Okay. And also, um, this is for gradebook for you. This is for students. Okay, so this is the one I'm going to click save. And that means the student can no longer see their final grade. They will still be able to view all of their assignments and see their grades on them, but there will be no more worrying about if the averages sync up. Okay, all right, let's see what's next. Pinning updates. Okay, so you want something students to see. It's super important. So say we have a test tomorrow. Okay, so in updates, I am going to say, uh, I want to post an update and I want to tell my students that there is a test tomorrow and I don't want them to forget. So don't forget, test tomorrow. All right, so I am going to adjust the size of this a little bit. I'm going to make it bold. Okay, and uh, all right, so I'm going to leave this. Don't forget, test tomorrow. Now, right here, make course updates as announcements. So I'm going to click this, post it. Now it shows up as an announcement. Okay. What happens if it's just a regular update? When I post it, it's going to show up down here, but not up here. Okay. So again, all you have to do when you are posting your update is check this. Uh, it's like a megaphone, but sometimes I like, think it looks like a party hat. You're going to click that, and that's going to pin the announcement. Okay? Super useful. Why? 
because see this announcement when I switch to materials? Oh, look, the announcement's still there. Okay. Um, and if I switch back, I switch to updates. Oh, look, there's the announcement. I'm in materials. Oh, there's the announcement. Can't miss it. Okay. All right. And embedding a clickable announcement. So this probably has been one of the best features that I have utilized this year. Okay. So I want to write an update. Okay. So here I am an update. And I want to go to resources. So I have something in Google Slides. It could be from OneDrive, but I'm going to use something from Google. And I've already installed the resource app. That's what you need. You either need the OneDrive resource app or the Google Drive resource app. Okay. So I already have my Google Drive resource app um, installed. Okay. And um, let's see. So say the file that I actually want is the one that is in a file that's shared with me, which is this one. Now, when I go to import, oh, perfect. It didn't work. So this is my opportunity to show you. What I need is it needs to say import embed. It doesn't. Okay. How am I going to fix it? Bizarro. And I don't know why it works, but it does. Okay. So I'm going to add a material. I'm going to add a page. I don't even have to type anything. All I need to do is go to insert content, go to Google Drive resource app, pick anything you want, click import. Look, there it says import embed. Close this out, cancel this. Let's try again. Go back to updates. I have no idea where that works. Schoology knows that glitch is there and they have not fixed it yet. So go show, goes to show you, I don't know, but these weird tricks somehow go around it. So I'm back here. I'm going to click shared with me. The one I want is right here. Look, amazing. Import embed shows up. I'm telling you, I don't know why that trick works, but it does. Click import embed. All right, now here's my announcement. But remember, I want this pinned at the top. So I want to use this. Okay, and I want to click post. All right, notice it removed my old announcement. So you can't clutter students. Um, announcements, they get one, okay, which is why I use something like this. It has everything they need on it, okay? So I have a form for late work. Bam, they can click right there, open the form, okay? Uh, they want to remember how to check their grades, click that, watch the video. It'll show you how to check your grades. You want to get to my website, click right there. It'll take you to my website, okay? You want to get to my YouTube channel, same thing. Anything that I want students to have quick access to is literally pinned in this announcement. It doesn't get much easier. And you can add and modify as you want. And since you linked it through the Google Drive resource app, it's a live document. You change it, it changes for them. It's awesome. Okay, so that's it. That was 10. Whew. Those are the top 10. So again, like and subscribe if you want more tips. I promise there are more coming. And link to the other videos if you want to see how to do it. You didn't catch it. But have a great day.